Welcome to part two. This is actually the same night um, as when I was in Durness. I'm just having my tea. I've got the spaghetti and the pasta. It's lovely. The, the combination of those two is really nice with the basil. It's like a proper pasta. I've got the news on. It's about, um, this is eight o'clock. Couple of beers. Yeah, I've just been chilling out. It's been good. Weather is a bit mixed. It's raining. It's on and off. Uh, I had to put the heater on. At one point, it was a little chilly. But yeah, it's good. I'm looking forward to this. I'm just letting this. I'm just letting this warm through. So it's just one of them gas-operated stoves. You know that one. Dead cheap these, like, and that's cheap as well. But they do a good job. Oh, they do a good job, like. So that's it. Tomorrow, we will plan our route. I'm not sure where I go tomorrow. I need the, I need the internet to find out where to go tomorrow. I think we'll go to Ullapool. But I don't know the route, how to get there. So yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, that's it, right? So we'll see you in the morning. Looking forward to this, like. So, part two sees me really feeling a little bit under the weather. <coughs> <coughs> Didn't sleep well last night, like, had the, had the fever and the aches and the pains, you know? Like the man flu. But uh, yeah, I took a couple well, of tablets. It's been pleasure having you on. I'm sort of all right now. Feeling a bit better now, but uh, I felt rotten, really, really rotten. And the weather played no part in the fun. The wind picked up again, and it was just absolutely wild. It was brutal. It's just not much fun, like. So I'm going to go to Ullapool, right? Now, through this terrain, it's a hell of a drive. I've drove the other way coming to Durness from Ullapool, and it's great. It's a good drive, like. I'm going to get to Olapool and see how I feel and then decide what to do. I might just bin it. I might just sack it because I was just... Last night was awful. I just felt like I wanted to die. Uh, anyway, I'm going to press on. I'm going to get a photograph of this phone box from the other Instagram channel. Phones and post boxes. If you want to follow that. Sun's right up there, right in your eyeball. The weather's just weird, man. The weather is just odd. I can't work it out. There's no wind at all now. I'm uh, gonna get a new battery for this camera and then crack on. Sullivan, where I was in, when was it, May? Framed it in May. Yeah, I'm just pulled into this little lay by, just a viewpoint. Look at that one. They look, they look huge until you get up to them. They're not really that big. I mean, that's the ridge there, you'd walk up there. 
the top of that and then on the other side easy man easy easy <laughs> it's getting another bloody bottom of it's so hard but One there is stack poly cool big um ben and young and ben more koi gak <laughs> just here just reading them on here camping on that one camped up on stack poly I'm thinking back it was two years ago that that was when I was last at that Durness beach as well two years ago not not a year ago god time flies so I'm just um, heading down into Ullapool now I'm nearly there I think I'll go 10 mile away and then I've got to I've got to think about how I feel and another night in the van I get something to eat and um, find somewhere to park up. <coughs> oh god, I'm not feeling great, like, but I'm so far away from home that I've pretty much got to stay. <laughs> All right, come on. Well, it's the next day after that bit about um, going to Ullapool I went and I stayed overnight I didn't get out of the van for like God, about 18 hours I just parked up and I just took a funny turn and I just felt absolutely terrible I had the fever you know so I was red hot here but I was shivering and I was wrapped up in all my blankets I had me this on a down jacket wrapped up in all the blankets and I was absolutely freezing shivering it was, oh, it's horrible. A fever is horrible. And then I've got the cough. It's um, it's not a constant cough, so I don't think it's the big C. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But I've decided, right, that I can't take any more. Uh, the weather's turning nasty again. The wind's not picked up. Um, so I'm heading back. Have a look at this out here. It's bleak out here. Like. really not much. Oh, I nearly died there. There's not much you can do. Can't go hiking because I'm not like feeling fit enough. I walked to Tesco man, I was dizzy. So oh, I think I'm done. And I've got the NC500 completed. But you know the bits I've missed I've actually I've actually driven them before like Apple Cross and um Clack Tall and all that. The only one I'm missing out is Gaelock. That's the only bit I haven't done. I've done all the rest of it. 
but you know it was a good a good attempt and and then I just took ill you can't stay out in this weather if you're poorly it takes a lot to keep me back but you know all right so I've set that for home and it says I'm gonna get back about half five it's quarter to twelve now all right we'll see there'll be a few more stops along the way if I see anything nice we'll we'll have a stop and look until it gets dark. Read. The set off here. Road quieting down about eight o'clock, seven, eight o'clock. Oh, a bit of traffic. You don't get the traffic. You don't get the um, the draft. There's all this here. I didn't even see all this because I came at night. Really, but there's a creepiest caravan there. Let's have a look at this caravan. Anybody in? Ooh. I mean, I'll camp anywhere, but you know, you've got to draw the line somewhere. It's weird, isn't it? Just abandoned. I think we've come and drifted. Obviously, seen better days. I thought it was somebody staying there at first, but then all through the night, wasn't this? Wasn't this banging in the wind? Imagine how freaked out I was at first. <laughs> right, so. Pretty much recovered from the fever. As you can tell, it made I've just got a cold now. Like it feels like I've just got a cold, and I've got a chesty cough as well. That doesn't, a chesty cough and like it knacks your stomach when you cough. So like you've done an um, abdominal workout. I might have a six pack at the end of this. You never know. I definitely have a four pack of brew dog. Um. Yeah. So that's basically it from the Highlands didn't turn out quite as expected the weather was the one that killed it I think because I picked up yesterday but the forecast oh, was just horrendous where I was planning on going that's why I deterred and came this way but you know you can't get enough coming through Glencore even though it was pitch black uh, so I'm gonna head down to the green welly stop now yes you heard me the green welly stop Everybody knows that. And try and get something to eat for the journey. The journey home. I've got the music on. Don't need a map just yet. where I started from I went up the coast 860 miles I've done 860 of the worst miles I've ever driven in my life the weather storms rain gale force winds named storms snow ice hailstones <laughs> yeah. The fucking black bubonic plague. Ugh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm now back on the border. 
Have I enjoyed it? I'll remember it. Put it that way. I will remember it. Probably for all the wrong reasons. But, you know, North Coast 500 didn't get done. Most of it did. A big chunk of it. But, um... Nah, oh, man. It just took bad. It was the illness. Don't know what come over us. Not too bad now. Just a cough. The fever was awful. When I had that fever, it was terrible. I just wanted to die. I felt like I was going to die. So, look at all the people in that lay-by. <laughs> uh, don't do it. Don't go. We've come back and the weather's like this. It's blooming. It's like summer. Even up, still up in Scotland, it's nice weather now. Can I get away with it? Like, I'm just cursed. 2023 was the year of bad weather. Really, really poor, poor weather. Like, and it's just ruined loads of trips. I go back through my videos and there's uh, there's footage and it's just it's just windy or it's raining and we got attacked by midges the trip to Harris and Mull was good and Harris was windy as hell as well but we enjoyed it we had a good time there ah, it's not been too bad just the weather it's people who it's people who aren't used to it, I feel bad for. Like if you're watching the videos and you think, oh, I want to do a bit of wild camping. And then you've been out and it's like that, it's bad weather. It's enough to put you off. Don't be put off, just, just get used to it. <laughs> get the right gear. Right, well, I'm going to go over the border now. Back home to bed. I'll post this video in two parts. I don't know if anybody watch it. It's mad as it. It's my little diary. Memory of events. Really, really hard, hard trip. I feel memorable for all the wrong reasons. So we'll see you uh, next year for more camping. I'm going to get a new tent to try out. On my reviews this year, it's going to be only stuff that I think is worth it. Like, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do crazy things like, you know, torture for, for no reason. So I'll do, I'll have tents. And when I do reviews, it's a real-time review as well. I'll be out using it. I won't be, like, pulling out the box and this has got this and it's got that. No, it'll be out-pitched and we'll be using it. Like you did with the the um the three FUL tent I've got, the Zen Q. I love that tent. That was a highlight of the year, that tent. I used it loads. Still got it, still use it. I'll use it again. But the next one that's coming is more like a lanchan, it's a different type of lanchan. We'll see how that pans out anyway. Right, I'm waffling on, it's been going on four minutes now. So happy new year and uh we'll see you. We'll see you over the border. Over the border. Midnight. We'll see you next year.